Filing is a method of smoothing material or shaping it to exact dimensions. The file is used in all branches of engine. It's as necessary in the finishing of heavy castings as in the precision work of the aircraft industry. The first thing you learn about filing is how to set the job up. It should be protected from the jaws of the vise by soft metal clamps. To file true, the job must be set up square. Put it deep in the jaws so that it will be rigid when the vise is screwed up. The marking line showing the limits for filing should be towards you. Before you start to file, you must learn to stand properly. Don't cramp yourself up against the bench. Stand far enough away to reach the job comfortably. Your right foot should be back a bit and your left foot forward, with your body balanced evenly on both feet. Here's the right position. Press the handle of the file firmly into the palm of your hand. Your thumb should be on top. Like this, you have firm control of the file. Any other grip will make the pressure uneven because your wrist isn't rigid. Don't spread your left hand over the file or you won't be able to see what you're doing. There must be no pressure from the left hand. This is because the teeth of the file all face towards the tip. Here is a section of a file. Notice how the teeth can cut away the metal only on the outward stroke when the file is moving away from you. As you bring the file back, the teeth slide over the surface without cutting. This is why the left hand only guides the file, leaving the right hand to provide all the pressure. Pressure with the left hand on the return stroke will make you tired without finishing the job any sooner. Besides that, the teeth will get clogged with scurf from the metal and the file will lose some of its cutting power. Even when you use the file properly, it'll pick up some scurf. You should clean it from time to time with a wire brush. The only file with teeth arranged to cut in both directions is the double cut file. Here pressure is applied on both forward and backward strokes. It's used chiefly on rough surfaces to prepare the job for more accurate filing. The file should move evenly over the job, diagonally from the point nearest you to the furthest point. The whole cutting length should be used. If you file at right angles to the job, each stroke covers only a small area. You'll find it difficult to file the whole surface evenly. And this is what may happen. Filing properly, your feet and body shouldn't move. If your body swings, you'll press more heavily on the end of the stroke and you won't be able to keep the surface level. Like most other cutting tools, the file is designed to draw itself into the work. Great force won't add to its cutting power. With your feet in the right position and your body correctly balanced, the work can be done entirely by your arms. A regular even stroke like this won't tire you. Check the accuracy of the work frequently. A firm stroke in the direction opposite to the previous filing makes any high spots stand out as shaded patches. Then carry on the filing in the new direction until the shading disappears.
At a more advanced stage of the work, you can test the surface with a straight edge. As you hold the straight edge at different angles, you'll see daylight wherever the surface is uneven. Then, if you rub the metal in red lead or bluing on a surface plate, the high spots pick up the stain. This will show you where you have to file to get the surface absolutely smooth. A dead smooth file is used for this final stage. This is known as draw filing and requires a different grip. This isn't the only filing job where you have to handle the file in a special way. For instance, file the rounded end of a metal fitting known as a radius, you'd use this circular rolling action. For some jobs, you'd need a specially shaped file. Narrow slits like this require a thin tapered warding file. A round rat-tailed file fits into small curves. If you have to file one surface of an angle without affecting the other, you'd use a file with one smooth edge called a safe edge file. Then there's the half round file, which is also used with a circular movement. But before you can carry out these specialized operations, you must master the rules of simple filing. Remember the three points. Correct position, correct grip, correct stroke.